Carbon fiber production was launched at this Airbus factory in Alescas, just outside Madrid, 25 years ago. It was the start of a groundbreaking investment in composite material in civil aviation. But industrial innovation in carbon fiber use bears little resemblance to the early days. Airbus has made a multi-million dollar investment in new technology, turning this facility into a world leader in composite industrial manufacturing. 700 highly skilled staff work here. Teresa Busto is the plant director. In my opinion, this is uh, one of the world more important center of excellence in composite that we have. We have the best experts in the world. We have more or less uh, 30 patents produced just in the 350 program, uh, Airbus patents, and uh, we consider that we are at the top level of the composite manufacturing. When the balls of frozen carbon fiber like this arrive at the Alescas plant, there are just 200 hours before the raw material perishes. So it has to be treated very rapidly. First, the machines build up 0.2 millimeter threaded layers of the composite material with the most advanced machinery that exists anywhere in the world. They take the exact shape of the aircraft structure. In this case, the carbon fiber will be used to make the rear fuselage section of the A380. After that, it's heated or cured with a resin mix in massive pressurized ovens known as autoclaves. When they emerge, the large sections are turned into light but strong composite parts. In the beginning on the A320 program, under 10% of all the aircraft structure was made from carbon fiber. It rose to 25% on the A380 and it's now around 53% on the A350 XWB. Uh, 25 years ago, we produced uh, parts by hand. What by hand, usually the, the person is able to lay up three kilos per hour, more or less. So the restriction for that was uh, unbelievable. We were not able to produce part more than 25 kilos or five meters or five, six meters long. Today, we are some means that are able to lay 30, 33 or 34 kilos per hour. So you can imagine the size of the parts are biggest and we can produce more complex parts. Carbon fiber weighs significantly less than aluminium, which of course means the aircraft can carry more passengers without adding to the weight. On top of that, the maintenance costs come down too. Basically, the main advantage is the weight, the weight saving. Making parts with uh, carbon fiber we can save, compared with aluminum, up to around 20% of weight. It is also another advantage that uh, there is no corrosion and there is no fatigue. Okay, and this is a main advantage for the, for the customer, for the airliners, because they can minimize uh, the level of inspections in the, level, in the life of the aircraft. Nowadays, the whole process of turning the carbon fiber into a composite part can take as little as 10 days at a maximum of 80. But the innovation never ends. New research is underway to speed up the process and bring the weight of the composite parts down even further. These water jets, for example, can cut up parts without the wear and tear risks from traditional machinery. We consider Airbus is the world leader for different things. First, material development. Second, tooling innovation in composite parts, process innovation and automation. When the wing parts head out of this plant, they make their way by Beluga to the Airbus wing specialists in North Wales. Airbus has set an ambitious target to produce 10 A350 XWBs a month by 2018. In Spain, the team are doing their part to make sure that goal is met on time.